monkeys. Hello everyone. So today we're going to be talking about a character that has been locked up in various mental institutions, is a master level thief, and has major daddy issues. And of course, we're talking about the Black Cat. The Black Cat's first appearance was in The Amazing Spider-Man number 194 of July 1979, and she was created by Marv Wolfman, Keith Pollard, and Dave Cockrum. Now, Felicia Hardy, otherwise known as Black Cat, was born in Queens, New York. Her father, Walter, was a world-renowned cat burglar who disguised himself as a traveling salesman. Now, before he was arrested, he told her that no matter where she was in life, to never settle for second best. In the story titled, Spider-Man, Black Cat, The Evil That Men Do, Black Cat claims as a freshman at Empire State University that she was assaulted by her boyfriend. Now, because she hated the idea of being any kind of victim, she trained herself in different fighting styles and various acrobatics intent on eventually killing him. She finally sets out for her revenge months after preparing. However, before she could even find him, he was killed in a drunk driving accident. Upon hearing this, she became furious that she was denied her revenge. Having nothing left and no vengeance to be taken, Hardy follows in her thieving father's footsteps. Felicia actually first adopts her costume persona only after making her stolen fortune. She makes most of her fortune in regular burglar gear or civilian clothing. She first wears the black cat costume only to break her father out of prison. However, her father dies and she has to fake her own death to escape. That same night, she meets Spider-Man. Now, despite normally having issues with men, Spider-Man is the very first male figure in her life that she felt trust, and she comes to believe that she is in love with him. Felicia looks for a way to earn his trust and continues with the black cat alias, if only to attract his attention, not really to steal or be some type of hero or villain. Seeing the good in black cat, Spider-Man makes every attempt to have her criminal record erased. Sadly, Felicia is placed in a mental institution but does eventually escape shortly after being admitted. She is eventually granted a conditional amnesty and once again convinces Spider-Man that she had died. The Black Cat feels she has finally found the perfect chance to prove herself to Spider-Man when she finds out the Kingpin is in control of an incredibly powerful detonator. The Owl plans to use it to hold New York City hostage and simultaneously Dr. Octopus wants the weapon to destroy the city altogether. Black Cat uses her acrobatic abilities to steal the item first and then protect it from everyone else getting their evil little hands on it. She gives the detonator to Spider-Man and taunts Dr. Octopus to become his new target. Although Spider-Man tears Doc Ock's mechanical appendages off, Dr. Octopus is still able to control them and holds the Black Cat while his men shoot her. Spider-Man is barely able to get her to the hospital in time to save her life. As they operate on her, they find dozens of bullet and knife wounds. Peter finally realizes how much he cares for her. Now after her recovery, they start a serious relationship, and soon Peter even reveals his secret identity to her. Felicia has trouble understanding that Peter is just a man beneath the mask, and doesn't understand why he has to have a civilian life. Peter's feelings are a little bit hurt over this encounter, but he continues with the relationship since it was the first time he didn't have to hide his alternative life as Spider-Man. Now, Marvel writers originally had the, quote, accidents which seemed to happen to people who crossed her path written off as well-planned stunts and or traps. She didn't actually have any bad luck powers. However, after her near-death experience, Felicia feared that her lack of powers would get Spider-Man, other innocent people, or herself killed. Felicia then seeks a way to make herself Spider-Man's physical equal. 
the same process that was used to create the scorpion and the human fly is then used on Felicia. The kingpin used this particular method on the black cat as payback for a theft she had once committed and you'll understand why in a minute. Now being ashamed of being powered up with quote bad luck abilities by the kingpin of crime, she pretty much keeps her new abilities a complete secret. However, her new quote bad luck power turns out to be infectious to everyone around her, including Spider-Man, which is exactly what the kingpin was banking on. Spider-Man, however, breaks up with Felicia because there were simply too many secrets between them. Without Spider-Man around, Felicia begins a Robin Hood type crusade by stealing from the rich to give to the poor. Now Peter soon realizes something is very wrong and he was becoming very unlucky and asked Doctor Strange to remove the hex that was hanging over him. However, by removing it, he alters the hex's original source and oddly enough, changes Black Cat's powers in the process. She finds she now has heightened strength, agility, balance, vision, and now has a set of retractable claws. The Black Cat updates her look and tries again at a relationship with Spider-Man. She now tries to understand his need for a normal life as Peter Parker and even stands by him when Spider-Man is accused of murder. They eventually track down who framed Peter and ended up fighting the character dubbed The Foreigner. Her apartment was destroyed by The Foreigner in a fight, so she begins living with Parker. Peter later discovers that their relationship was all fake, only a plot against him, and that she had secretly had been in a relationship with The Foreigner all along. However, during her ruse, Felicia began to fall back in love with Peter. Spider-Man then comes home to overhear Black Cat talking about her plan to ruin his life while she was on the phone with the foreigner. He then tries to catch her, but she escapes. Now Parker tracks her to Foreigner's apartment and intercepts a phone call to Keating's phone, which ends up being Felicia on the other line, telling Keating to meet her. This, however, was all a part of her plan and she intentionally lured Spider-Man into finding her at the foreigner's apartment, just to cause a fight between them. Later, she ends up clearing Spider-Man of his murder charge, but still double-crosses both of them, leaving a letter detailing her plan and her feelings for Peter, and stating that she had left for Paris to start a new life. This pushes Peter to eventually find support and start a new relationship with Mary Jane. Years later, the Black Cat returns to America and goes shopping with the Five Finger Discount, actually that's shoplifting, with Dagger. She then slaps on her original costume and seeks out Peter Parker. Eventually running into Venom in her search, she learns that Peter had married Mary Jane. Angry and jealous, Felicia begins harassing them, taunting Peter by dating his friend Flash Thompson physically threatening Mary Jane, and swearing to ruin their marriage. And at one point, Spider-Man uses a device to remove his Spider-Man abilities, and the Black Cat is a huge help in finding the device to restore them back again. In the process, however, the Black Cat's cat-like abilities are completely eradicated, and she comes to understand that she sincerely cares for Thompson. Oddly enough, however, when she proposes, he refuses, saying that he was only interested because she was the ex-girlfriend of his idol, Spider-Man. The Black Cat later makes up with both of them, becoming close friends. Black Cat then returns in the series Marvel Divas, which is a parody of Sex in the City. She is one of the main characters alongside Firestar, Hellcat, and Photon. She is summoned by her friends to help cope with Firestar's breast cancer cost, and because of this, Felicia is financially broken. She can't restart her investigation firm, and she's too proud to take Puma's money, and her attempts to get a loan are met with hostility from the banks of New York, which were, funny enough, usually targets of her villainous activities as the Black Cat. Feeling rejected and angry at the situation, 
Felicia begins to consider a return to crime. Now, Black Cat then returns as a reoccurring character in the series The Amazing Spider-Man. Although she remembers her previous encounters with Spider-Man, the events of One More Day have erased her memory of his identity. She also regained her bad luck powers. Now, she was breaking into a penthouse apartment and Spider-Man simultaneously had responded to a call. Spider-Man catches up to her, reminding her that she was the one that dumped him. Now, she and Puma had ended their relationship, so she and Spider-Man once again rekindle theirs. Now, during this time, Black Cat ends up helping Peter recapture a vial of his spider blood from Mr. Negative. Following this, Black Cat is given a four-issue miniseries in which Felicia becomes caught up in the events of The Gauntlet and the Grim Hunt storyline after her mother Lydia was kidnapped by the Kravenoff family. Felicia agreed to turn herself over to the Kravenoffs in exchange for her mother, but instead sent a decoy while she tracked down her mother and attempted to free her. After removing the duct tape from her mother's mouth, Felicia finds out that the Kravenoffs had strapped an explosive device to her wrists. Felicia, however, is ultimately able to rescue her mother and keep them safe from the Kravenoff family. Later, Mary Jane enlists the Black Cat's help when Peter is captured by Doc Trama, who was also the person who had restored Felicia's powers. Together, they defeat Trama and save Spider-Man. Black Cat then appears in the Spider Island story as the heroes for hire are called to help quarantine Manhattan. Black Cat was eventually blamed for the theft of a holographic projector from the Horizon Labs. But since Spider-Man was with her at the time, he knew she was innocent and recruited Matt Murdock, which we all know is Daredevil, to prove her innocence. It was later revealed that the criminal organization Black Spectre framed her as a part of their plot to recruit her to their side and offer her money to retrieve a device that Matt Murdock had in his possession. Later, she goes to Matt's apartment and they start a relationship, which is all part of her plan. However, she instead betrays Black Spectre and alerts Daredevil leaving him and a note saying the organization is monitoring him. As part of the Marvel Now event, Felicia is contacted by Misty Knight to help the fearless defenders fight the so-called Doom Maidens along with Storm, Tigra, Hellcat, and Valkyrie. Now in Superior Spider-Man, and for those that do not know, it was Dr. Octopus and Peter Parker's body. Now he was heading for a date with his girlfriend Anna Maria Marconi, only to bump into the black cat who was committing a robbery. Felicia attempts to flirt like usual, but suddenly Superior Spider-Man punches her straight in the face, knocking a tooth out. Superior Spider-Man continues the assault, reminiscing about how he once tried to kill her, but now was just simply apprehending her. This leaves Felicia swearing revenge after Superior Spider-Man wraps her in webbing and swings off. As a result, Black Cat's capture is caught live on TV for everyone to see, and her criminal contacts distance themselves from her and her stolen treasures are sent back to their owners. Following the end of Superior Spider-Man, going back to the true Spider-Man, Black Cat escapes determined to regain her standing by defeating Spider-Man. Later on, she attacks him while he is evacuating a burning building, causing Spider-Man to pretend to still be Dr. Octopus to drive her away, as he can't waste time while rescuing people. Afterwards, Black Cat contacts Electro, suggesting that they collaborate for revenge on Spider-Man. Black Cat goes to Parker Industries to record all of the tech they were making, However, she doesn't really understand them and steals someone who does. Sanjani has had enough of Peter's constant disappearances and vows to make Peter see how he deals with everything without her help. Hardy and Electro later show up at a meeting between Mr. Negative and Phil Urich, 
who was leading the remnants of the Goblin Underground as the Goblin King. Black Cat says to them that she has heard how they were outed by Spider-Man and wants in on their plan. While Peter was in an interview, Electro attacks the security team and Black Cat arrives, announcing that if Spider-Man doesn't show up in 15 minutes, Peter will die. Instead, Silk arrives to confront them both, giving Peter time to change into Spider-Man. As they fight, Spider-Man tries to convince Black Cat to stop, even explaining his story of being mind-swapped. Black Cat deflects one of Electro's bolts, hitting Spider-Man. Hardy then tries to unmask Spider-Man to the world, but Jameson's camera angle prevents anyone from seeing Spider-Man's face, just long enough for Peter to put his mask back on. No matter who's behind the mask, Black Cat still wants her vendetta against Spider-Man, and the criminals at the bar with no name want her to lead them. The last issue of the Superior Foes of Spider-Man reveal that Boomerang's love interest was actually Black Cat, who had disguised herself to manipulate the Sinister Six into helping her acquire a priceless portrait of Doctor Doom without a mask. The character next appears as the villain of Hawkeye vs. Deadpool, where she is revealed to have used an associate's expertise in mind control to infiltrate New York's law enforcement and judicial systems and create an army of, quote, drones out of the patients and staff of Brooklyn Psychiatric. When a hacker who had a list of all the active S.H.I.E.L.D. agents who Black Cat intends to brainwash as well betrays her, Felicia hires Typhoid Mary to help her acquire the USB flash drive containing the list. When cornered by Deadpool, Hawkeye, and Kate Bishop, Black Cat murders the mind control specialist and escapes by switching places with her arresting officer, a sleeper agent. Now during the Venom Inc. storyline, after Lee Price steals the spawn of Venom symbiote from Flash Thompson's protege Andy Benton, aka Mania, and uses it to become Maniac, with his newfound ability to reproduce the symbiote and gain control of people, Price was able to gain control of Black Cat and her gang. With the aid of Flash's new powers as Anti-Venom, Black Cat was free. Later, working with Venom, Black Cat was able to use the artificial Anti-Venom element they obtained from Dr. Steven to free Spider-Man from Price's control. Now, During the final battle, Black Cat discovers that those already cured cannot be taken over by Price's symbiote again allowing Spider-Man to use his cured bloodstream and mix it with anti-venom to defeat Price. Afterwards, she and Spider-Man make peace, and Eddie Brock convinces Black Cat to give up being a crime boss and just be a vigilante. Now, During Marvel's fresh start, Black Cat teamed up with Spider-Man to confront the Thieves' Guild, which is a group of robbers established hundreds of years ago that were trying to make their name known again by stealing the equipment of various superheroes. As an honorary member of the guild, she was able to allow the two to break in and fight off guild members until the rest of the heroes showed up to reclaim their items. Later that night, Felicia tells Spider-Man that her darker mentality started when she forgot Spider-Man's secret identity, which was a result from Doctor Strange making everyone forget it after Civil War. In response, Peter takes off his mask and reveals his secret to Felicia. And as far as powers and abilities go with this character, the Black Cat originally has no abilities, but a test induced by the Kingpin gave her the unconscious psionic ability to affect probability fields. Essentially, she could produce bad luck for her enemies. This bad luck power entails that under stress she is subconsciously able to cause anyone in her immediate vicinity that she perceives as a threat to her to be susceptible to weird freak accidents like guns jamming and exploding or tripping on objects. This ability however has the very sad side effect of being bad luck for anyone spending long periods of time around her. In essence, her powers are sort of like dominoes or long shots, but unlike them, 
her powers aren't magically, quote, on during combat. They're on all the time, affecting everyone negatively near her. Doctor Strange once accidentally messed with her powers and removed her bad luck abilities, along with the unwanted make everyone around you unlucky side effect. However, the magical tampering also gave her cat-like abilities, night vision, retractable claws, superhuman speed, strength, agility, and endurance, all proportionate to a cat. Her psionic, quote, bad luck powers and her former temporary abilities were eventually restored by Dr. Trama using advanced cybernetic implants. Felicia then had the ability and stamina of an Olympic level acrobat as well as superior physical endurance. She is an excellent street fighter who is capable of fighting several armed combatants at once. She is also educated in several martial arts styles. The Black Cat has also acquired several devices from the Tinkerer that increase her agility and strength. She wears earrings that interact with the balance centers of her brain to give her enhanced agility. She has contact lenses that let her see in all ranges of the electromagnetic spectrum. Her costume contains micro servers that enhance her strength and her gloves contain stereo microfilaments which form retractable claws at the fingertips which enable her to tear through most surfaces and easily scale walls. With her gadgetry, the Black Cat was able to defeat enemies who have far superior abilities. Hardy even has a miniature grappling hook device hidden in each glove, which was designed by her father, the Master Thief, Walter Hardy, which allows her to swing from buildings similar to Spider-Man. She can also use the cable from this device as a tightrope, wall scaling device, swing line, or even as a weapon. Having powers, not having powers, powered by magic, powered by science, or even powered by advanced robotic implants, Felicia Hardy, the Black Cat, will always be a fan favorite. Growing up as a young review, it was difficult to not notice this <clears throat> character in the stands. In most cases, her being seen with a skin tight outfit and her curves totally accentuated. It's not even that she's one of Marvel's hottest baddies. Her story is a wild and very comic book-esque situation. Could be fun, though probably pretty dangerous. We find it a little funny that in Disney's search for a strong female lead character in Marvel movies, that this charismatic character wasn't at the forefront of their thoughts. Especially during Phase 1, where the Spider-Man trilogy was more recent in everyone's minds. In our minds, not having a movie about her at this point is nearly a criminal offense. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful night, an awesome morning, a great evening, whichever. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that. Also, leave a comment down below. Let us know how we did with this video as well as what character you might want to see on this channel, and we'll see if we can't oblige you. As always, Excelsior. <laughs> Hello, monkeys.